Noblesville, it's Mayor Chris Jensen coming to you from a soggy week here in the city of Noblesville. I know, all you weather fanatics, the sun is somewhere. I promise you, hang in there, it's going to dry up, it's going to be sunny, and springtime is just around the corner. Probably not, but you know, cling to that if you need to. It is Friday, January 26, 2024, with another edition of the Friday Five here in the city of Noblesville. Five things you need to know going into this wintry weekend here in the city of Noblesville. So let's dive right in and talk about, yep. You know it. Pleasant Street is number one on the list here. Uh, again, if you don't know about this project, visit www.reimaginepleasantst.com to learn more. But a little bit of the detail update for you here. Indiana American Water began their utility, utility relocation today. Work is starting at 10th Street and will last from 7 to 10 days. There may be periodic times with flaggers out there, but traffic will always be remain moving. On Monday the 29th, so this coming Monday, work will be done at the intersection of Pleasant Street. This can take place between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. So there'll be some lane closures uh, during that time, but will be kept at a very much a minimum. So again, this project is one that's going to span several years. It's uh, The planning for it has spanned several decades. So uh, it's going to span several years. So they're trying to keep you updated as little chunks of progress come along. And this, uh, this chunk will be brought to you by Indiana American Water. So uh, be on the lookout there if you travel Pleasant Street next week uh, and this weekend for some utility relocation. Again, reimaginepleasantst.com is where you can go to learn more about this project. Second thing, I had the pleasure yesterday, of tra no, actually on Wednesday, of traveling down to the State House. As you well know, the Indiana General Assembly is in session currently for a short session, and I appreciate my friend Senator Scott Baldwin, amongst others, for helping sponsor Senate Bill 10. Senate Bill 10, you may recall, is the Indiana Cares, uh, Indiana Community Cares Program. This is modeled after Noblesville's very, on, very own Noble Acts Program, which is our paramedicine program involving Carbon, Luna, and Sadie, our therapy dogs, um, our effort to be more proactive in, in the space of public safety. Uh, we are lobbying the General Assembly to ask them to adopt some grant funding for communities, not just here in Noblesville, but across the state to model Noblesville's program to help at-risk individuals give a hand up um, to them and help find resources within our community, also while looking long-term at the costs of public safety. So uh, that uh, um, uh, bill was unanimously passed out of the uh, Senate Healthcare Committee, and so I'm excited to continue the conversation, but most importantly excited to talk about Nobles' success in this area, how we are helping our community, um, and, and hopefully getting those folks in our community that simply need some resources a hand up uh, along the way. So again, thanks to all those at the General Assembly, and uh, be able to check out our Facebook page at the City of Nobles to learn more about that program and the success of Noble Act. Third thing, Deer Creek Business Park. This is the southwest corner of 146th Street and Oleo Road, so far east side of our community. The park includes 55, nope, 55, yeah, um, 550, there we go, thousand square feet of Class A industrial space between two buildings. The site had its foundation passed and it's starting to stand up wall panels in the exterior. So we wanted to point this out because you're going to see some construction going on there out uh, near Deer Creek, Ruoff, Verizon, Klipsch, whatever you want to call it, in that area. <coughs> uh, project is from our friends at Patch Development and also Cushman and Wakefield. I also want to share that the Indiana Joint Replacement Institute, that is uh, what is currently going vertical out there uh, in Innovation Mile at that same intersection, has completed its foundation as well and will soon be going vertical so I just made um, I just told you it's going vertical but it's gonna be soon to be going vertical so just go with what I say soon be going vertical that is right there right next to our friends in Borg Warner so some construction updates for you there on the far east side of Noblesville as we develop Innovation Mile in that corridor near I-69 on the east side of Noblesville fourth thing safety Sunday post this is kind of a new thing we have coming out you may have heard and if you haven't it's time to pay attention but there is a total solar eclipse that will occur on April 8th and Noblesville slash Hamilton County is in the path of the totality, which is awesome. To help us prepare for this eclipse, our city, police, and fire departments have created Safety Sunday social media posts for you. I'm, but I'm going to be saying Safety Sunday social media posts a ton over the next uh, several months, so prepare yourself. Safety information will be shared weekly leading up to the eclipse to ensure you and your family are ready for this special event. So tune into social media on our page at the city's page, uh, fire, as well as police, to learn more about how you can be prepared for the solar eclipse coming up on April 8th. Um, and also, if you are flying back from spring break that day, make sure you check your uh, airline tickets. We ran into, they, they are definitely more expensive coming into Indianapolis because of the solar eclipse. Just FYI, little tip for you there on the travel department. All right, fifth thing you need to know, Devour Indy. It's the perfect time to discover a new restaurant or visit an old favorite because Devour Indy Winterfest returned this week and continues all the way to February 4th. So dozens of restaurants are participating in Indy's citywide 
region-wide dining event offering value price menu. You don't need a coupon or a ticket to, to attend or go to these restaurants. Simply visit the restaurant of your choice and ask for the Devour Indie menu. Now here locally, in Noblesville, we have Brew Burger, Condado Tacos, Grindstone Public House, just ate there for lunch, FYI, Livery Noblesville, Michelangelo's Italian Bistro, The Nest Steakhouse, Slatfish, over by me, Stone Creek Dining Company, Tijuana Flats are all participating in this. So this is exciting. Uh, and there's something to look forward to in the winter time. Just stuff your face. All right, it's going to be great. Um, your new, your new Year resolutions are probably out the window anyway. So here we go. Devour Indie menu. Go check out devourindie.com to learn more um, and enjoy some new restaurants in and around the city of Noblesville or the Indie region, but mostly just stay in Noblesville and spend your money here. So anyways, those are the five things you need to know going into this wonderful winter weekend in the city of Noblesville. If you have thoughts or questions, comments, or concerns, give me a call here at City Hall. The number is always conveniently located right in the right face. Uh, shoot me an email at cjensen. Nope. cjensen at noblesville.in. Dot gov. It's new for us this year. It used to be .us. Dot gov. Or call me, text me um, on my non-governmental paid cell phone. It's right over there. 317-509-3134. I always love to hear from constituents. Let me know what's on your mind. Uh, in the meantime, I'll either see you around Noblesville or I'll see you back here next Friday.